are you last day of week 11? Papers next week, um, I'm going to have the paper due uh, the following week. That was be Monday the 12th, but of course that's uh, Armistice Day. Uh, so you'll get until Wednesday, so take the time you need. Uh, reading about nationalism, that's our theme. We're talking about political nationalism, the development of the ideology of nationalism. Uh, cultural nationalism, art. Commander said the literature and art is important in creating the nation as the politics. Um, Andrew Jackson, national hero. When we think about nationalism, we think about the wars, nation state versus nation state. And when we think about nationalism, we should think about maps. For my first 20 years of teaching, I always had a stack of yellow notebooks with notes and maps. And history professors were famous for their maps because it's like you can't talk if you don't have your maps. And uh, old-time history professors would walk into class, they would take an old map like this, and this map is worth a gazillion bucks. The garbage I have to show you there. And I have a collection, a file cabinet full of these really cool maps. And see, and that's what these things up here are for. Now, the map is the stories behind the development of the country. Uh, and it's interesting uh, how we've evolved. Uh, if you want to look at some of these maps, come to my office. They're so cool. There are map geeks like crazy. This one here, I won't work you with. It's called Western Expansion. I have them on the Roman Empire. This one's on the Mexican-American War that we're going to talk about here a little bit today. This map is a thousand times better than the map I'm going to show you, but oh well, there'll be D minus kinds of people. <coughs> Isn't that cool? You want one of those? I wonder if they're worth anything. They were given to me. When I came to CSI because they're worthless, but not for me. Uh, I'm working on a rock creek project. And yesterday I was reading about Rock Creek and I came across a map produced of Rock Creek in 1840s by John C. Fremont, who was one of the first people through the Magic Valley. And he brought along with him a map maker, cartographer, cartographer, cartographer thank you. A uh, very famous guy that uh, um, one of the first um, Explorers, of course, uh, Lewis and Clark explorers, explorers here, explorers there, McKinsey, um, and, and then explorers that came and created maps. Now that map is really important because it was created and produced and distributed uh, for people coming out on the Oregon Trail. People were coming out before uh, the 1840s, but uh, there wasn't really a map to follow, and so they were going on the north side of the canyon. They were going right here on uh, a pole line road. But mostly what they would do is to go over to um, um, uh, the Cedars of Miller Dam. And from there they would cut across to Rock Creek, about where uh, Stricker Station is. And from there they would come down Rock Creek to where Rock Creek met with uh, uh, the Snake River. And this was map. This map is actually in sections, and this section is from Fort Hall to Fort Boise. To think about that, that's an American fort on one end of the state, and a British fort on the other end of the state. Uh, but the creation of this map is one of the most important events in the development of, of Western America. And as we talked about the commenter, the development of Western America is uh, central to the development of nationalist ideology. Uh, that is, we uh, acquire territory in remarkable fashion, and that gives birth to an idea of manifest destiny. We talk about American expansion uh, uh, in the 20th century, and that's taking places outside of the continent, uh, imperialism. This is Manifest Destiny, it's sort of an expansion at, at the expense of the Spanish, Mexicans, at the expense of the British, at the expense of Native Americans. We don't call it, we don't call it uh, imperialism, we call it uh, a continental expansion. 
but it certainly has some imperialistic uh, attributes to it, doesn't it? Thank you so much for your time and attention. Do not spend all your time on my material this weekend. Take a little bit of time for yourself.